We have all heard that we have First Amendment rights, but do you really know what that means? We are here to explain what your rights at a protest are so that you can protest safely. The First Amendment gives us freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of assembly, and the freedom to petition our government when we have grievances. If you are thinking of going out to a protest to speak about an issue you are passionate about, it is important to make sure you're prepared. To see a full list of recommended items to bring with you to a protest, go to our website. And most importantly, talk to a trusted adult about your plans to protest. Many cities have imposed curfews for minors. Here's a chart showing what the city of Minneapolis has set for youth. It is always a good idea to know what curfew times are in your city, should you go out to a protest. We understand that being at a protest can be a powerful event you might be tempted to record. However, there are some things you should know about recording at a protest. First, recording the police. You have the right to record the police. It is very common for police officers to ask, even command that you put your phone down. Know that unless you're obstructing legitimate police business, you can record from a safe distance. Second, recording others. It may seem harmless to record others at a protest. Unfortunately, police officers can use photos and videos in court if needed and use them to surveil community members. If you choose to record, make sure you are not capturing anyone's face or identifying factors like tattoos, hairstyles, and physical features. If you happen to capture any of those, remember that you can put emojis and or blurring filters to keep the people in your photos or videos unidentified. Although we have the right to freedom of speech, the First Amendment does not protect freedom of speech if it includes trespassing, advocating for imminent violence, provoking people to break the law, or obscene language. Your right to protest also does not permit endangering others, disrupting pedestrian or vehicular traffic without a permit. And lastly, when at a protest, know that there's always a chance of being arrested. You could take precautions by knowing your rights and knowing an escape route as soon as you hear a dispersal order. To learn more about what this means, read about it on our website.